One of the most iconic figures of the 16th century was Mary Queen of Scots. She was also at times the Queen of France through marriage, but she would have a turbulent life in which she would later be imprisoned by Elizabeth I and she made her way to the executioner's block inside of Fotheringhay Castle. Mary's love life was tumultuous and a source of much debate, but one of the most bloody and shocking events that she witnessed was the horrific murder of her private secretary, David Rizzio, inside of the palace of Holyrood House a group of rebels and murderers stabbed him 57 times in his body. But the murder would signal the downfall of Mary, Queen of Scots's marriage to Lord Darnley. It was a murder performed out of jealousy. But it was one that cast a dark shadow over the throne of Scotland. David Rizzio travelled around Europe before he came to Scotland, and he found little advancement in other courts around the continent. When he arrived in Scotland, the court had no job for him, and they dismissed him, but Rizzio made himself a key part of Mary Queen of Scots' musicians, which had come from France. It was said, Her Majesty had three valets in her chamber, who sung three parts and wanted a bass to sing the fourth part. Rizzio was a talented man, and he was a skilled musician and singer, and he quickly caught the attention of Mary, and she gave him employment, wealth, and a significant amount of sway inside of the royal court. He then became the Queen's secretary, and he was a very ambitious man, and in his role he would control who would see the Queen and who would not, and he was the one who oversaw access to the Queen. This made him privileged, and many at court became jealous of him, and he was acting almost as a secretary of state, despite the fact he didn't have any of the required talents to do this. Many at court feared the fact he was a staunch Catholic, and also was a foreigner, and that he was too close to the Queen, and there were many scandalous rumours floating around that David Rizzio was having an affair with the Queen. At the time, Mary was married to Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley, and he was a very vain and arrogant man, and also a man who was obsessed with becoming the Scottish King. However, he was also an abusive man, who after a drink could be violent and disgusting, and he would be one man who became intensely jealous of Rizzio, Darnley was a man who had started to plot to change Scotland's religion after the marriage to Mary, and Rizzio initially was one of his confidants, and in early 1566, Darnley began plotting against his wife. It was said that he dug his claws in to marginalise her following her appointment of David Rizzio as secretary, and it was hoped that he would be made the lawful king of Scots. The success of this plot rested on a scapegoat, who it was believed would be Rizzio, and would be accused of sleeping with Darnley's wife, which would show Mary to have been unfaithful, and a terrible person and ruler who couldn't be trusted. Rizzio was paid around 75 Scottish pounds, and he was given further money and rewards, including rich cloth from the Queen's wardrobe. But the jealousy increased towards him, and it would spill into all-out bloodshed and murder inside of the palace of Holyrood House. Mary Queen of Scots was inside of her supper chamber, and she was with Rizzio and others, and at eight o'clock the royal guards were overpowered, and the palace was stormed by rebels, and they quickly assumed control of the palace. Mary and Rizzio were still in the room, along with the Lady Agril, who was sat at the supper table. At the time, Mary Queen of Scots was six months pregnant with the future king, James VI of Scotland, and some accused Rizzio of being the father of this child, with more rumours spreading around court. The rebels burst into the room, led by Lord Ruthen, and he demanded that Mary give over Rizzio to the rebels. The Queen would not do this, and Rizzio then hid behind the six months pregnant Queen. However, the Queen was pushed to the side, and Rizzio was then seized. It was said that one of the rebels even pointed his gun at Mary's pregnant stomach, and that she was threatened to have been stabbed by another rebel. But then a violent struggle broke out, and Rizzio was grabbed and taken through the bedchamber into the audience chamber outside, and here he was stabbed 57 times, with all of the rebels getting involved with their daggers and swords being driven into Rizzio. He was left a bloody pulp, and his body was then thrown down a staircase, and he was stripped of his jewels and clothes. Rizzio was then, first it's believed, buried inside of the cemetery of Holyrood Abbey. 
but it was believed that Mary ordered for his body to be deposited in the tomb of the kings that lay inside of the abbey, and many believed that this meant the queen did love him. There were many other rumours floating around about why Rizzio was slaughtered, including other lords that wanted to strike fear into the heart of Darnley also. Following the murder, Mary spoke to her husband, and she was concerned that she was in danger. The guards around the room were relaxed, and then she left to Dunbar Castle. She was accompanied by a couple of loyal servants, and she later then, when the episode had blown over, returned to Edinburgh. But Darnley would later be declared innocent of the murder, despite it clearly being his idea. Elizabeth I was informed of the murder and chaos of the Scottish court, but David Rizzio's impact on the Queen was a profound one, and despite being heavily pregnant at the time, she was incredibly shocked and disgusted by his slaying. However, it would not be long before Mary's husband Darnley would too be killed in a rather strange circumstance. There was an explosion in the house where he was staying, and his body was found in the garden. It was claimed that he was smothered, but there was no signs of strangulation or violence, and further rumours emerged that Mary was involved in this murder and more bloodshed. Elizabeth I wrote to Mary saying, I should ill fulfil the office of a faithful cousin or an affectionate friend if I did not tell you what all the world is thinking. Men say that, instead of seizing the murderers, you are looking through your fingers while they escape that you will not seek revenge on those who have done you so much pleasure, as though the deed would never have taken place, had not the doers of it be assured of impunity. For myself, I beg you to believe that I would not harbour such a thought. Within a number of years, Mary Queen of Scots was forced off the throne in favour of her son, as scandal had blighted the Scottish court. She had married the man suspected of killing Darnley, and despite the fact she may have been forced into this, the Scottish court got rid of her. Over a number of years, there had been many accusations and rumours about the Scottish Queen, and her alleged friendships and relationship with David Rizzio caused a lot of shock and intrigue. It was inside the palace of Holyrood House, where Rizzio was slaughtered in a bloodbath, but later Mary would flee to England, and she would also meet a bloody end inside of an English castle. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.